Hello, ladies and gentlemen. A rather unexpected episode for you today. On the grounds that my new computer didn't arrive. I'm not angry about this. I'm not steamingly angry about this. Not even slightly. Why? How could I be angry when there are dragonflies? Look at the dragonflies. There we go. Isn't that calming and peaceful? I'm not slightly irritated by that at all. Not at all. I've only spent my entire Saturday sitting getting extremely excited, having spent the whole of Friday night backing up my bloody C drive. I'm not bothered by this. I've got dragonflies anyway. As the homicidal streak in me has come out, I thought that we'd have a go at the second part of Virtual Villagers, given how utterly disastrous the first part was. I'm not going to kill them all. Name my tribe? I think that will do it. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful island where lost villagers made their home. Well, they tried to and then they all died. They explored their small part of the island and knew every corner. Only a mysterious cave had not been carefully explored. One day, two intrepid villagers ventured into the dark recesses, against my wishes, more than likely, and discovered an opening behind thick vines. Curious, they pressed through. Oops. Slippery rocks and a steep waterfall. And before they knew it, they were carried down with the water. Falling! Oh no, disaster struck already. How many minutes are we into this? Not, not enough. With a bit of luck, they landed in a deep, crystal clear pool. They were on a new part of the island, the west side of Isola. Drenched and startled, they emerged to find they were not alone. Bother. Children. Dirty, hungry looking children. Do they have blue eyes? <sighs> oh dear. <laughs> We've fallen into children of the corn. Who are they? And where are their parents? Would you like tutorial tips turned on? Got them. Here we go. After frightening fall down the waterfall, I do that all the time in Skyrim, the two curious villagers find themselves trapped in a new part of Isola. The children here are low on food. Oh god, they're going to eat you. Scared? Oh, maybe not. And need help to survive. They're going to eat you. One of them is old enough to help work. Good! You can get on with it then. Now look here, you. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, it's a bit like it was before. Except we have a rather fantastic waterfall. This little sort of hutty thing here. Um, oh, that looks like a mouth. And we've got a beach. And there's a crate. And there's... Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, they just flew off. Okay. Right, well... Obviously, the first problem is going to be that there's only seven of them. By the time I finish with them, there will only be two of them. This looks like it might have something to do with fire. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. It's a mess. No, I don't know. I don't want to... No, I don't want you to replay the tutorial instruction. I want you to go away. So here we have our new puzzles. Let's have a look. Food. Uh, oh, elect fish as president is back. What else have we got? These are weird. Something to do with pie. That's never a bad thing. Invent algebra. Start own edition of Hunger Games. Open drive through McDonald's. Okay. Yes, I know this. I know this because see, I've, I've played this kind of game before, haven't I? Teach a villager to fish. They're getting hungry and there isn't much food. Right, come on then. Suppose oh. we ought to keep the kids alive. Ah, I see mushroom though. I see mushroom. Um, where are the kids? I need a kid. Go and get the mushroom. Quick, 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 get, get, get it, get it, get the mushroom. Right, what are you doing? You're worried about food. Well, you can go and fish as well. 
and then you can be less worried by food. What's he doing? Building small hut. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. So he's already building a hut. I don't want to replay the tutorial instruction. Darn! The villager didn't catch a fish. Well, there's a surprise. But did improve at farming. Oh, he's got a fish. Uh, what are you doing? Whoop! Ooh! Dragon adult villagers to the large table. Oh, I see. Oh, we're into research oh. again. Okay, you can research. There we go. And you've got your fish. And you aren't doing anything. Look, oh. if you're worried about food, go and get some food. Oh, he was unsuccessful at research. Well, oh. is everybody going to be useless again? Oh, there's another mushroom. Go and get the mushroom. Go and get it. Don't run off. Get the mushroom. Thank you. Right, so we've got a sort of rotting pile of mushrooms and fish. Which is allegedly going to keep us alive. Why do I doubt this? Right, technology-wise, what have we got this time? Engineering. Exploration. Culture. We had farming, medicine and science last time. Last time we had... We had breeding. Or something along those lines. Fertility. That was it. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, Yeah, forcing people to... No, that was just wrong. But this time around we've got culture, which is obviously much more cultured. And exploration. Good. The children could get cold without some heat. Let's teach a villager to build a fire! Go on then. Right, which one of you can be trusted not to do something terrible to yourself? Gathering firewood. Okay, good. Is the map bigger? I feel like I'm having to do a lot more scrolling. It is, isn't it? Well, that's something. I still don't like that, though. You go and get that mushroom. One of the young children of your tribe is now old enough to work. <laughs> this man. Oh, he's gone. But this is going to be my slave labour camp here. Right, so we've got somebody gathering firewood. And she's worried about food, but she's still being stupid about it. Are you not supposed to be actually going and getting food so that you're not worried about it anymore? I've completely forgotten what it told me to do now. Oh, the wood thing. Oh, doing the wood thing. Okay. Right. He's building the hut. Good. And you are useless. Oh. It's like La La all over again. Now, the problem is that this time, if I want people to breed... Oh, oh, he's built. Oh, look at that. Are you going to... Kindling is also needed to start a fire. Drag your villager to this patch of dry reeds. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, What's that? There's something over there. What's that? Oh. Oi, you. Go and have a look at that. Confused. Well, that says it all. Right, oh. go back in the sea then. Um, Where's my firewood man gone? Hey. Get this bloke to do it instead. He doesn't know how to climb. Yeah, okay. Where was the where were the reeds? Is it here? I'm not sure. No, he's studying a strange plant. Are you old enough to work? No. This patch of dry reeds. Ah, he's looking at the dry shrubs. He's not old enough to work yet, is he? Or perhaps he is. Trying to reach coconuts. What? Go and have a look at the thing. Collecting a new item? Oh, there's way too much going on now. Now I just don't get it. Could you go and look at the... Ah, good. Right, so he's building a hut. And she's got a fish. My child has found a collectible. And you're building a fire. Good, we're organised now. We're organised. So, collections then. Let's have a look. This is new. Shells? Oh, I see. Oh, that was a shell. It was glowing, wasn't it? Oh, butterflies! Beetles and pebbles. Pebbles? Give me a break. 
Right, so what are you doing? You're researching and you're fishing and you're building fire. Good, can I relax a little bit now? Are you going to keep doing it? Oh, you are. That makes a change. Let's see what this bloke does. If this episode ends with this man setting everything on fire and everybody dying, I'm never coming near any of these games again. Right, let's see what he does. Good. What are you going to do now? Stare at it. You're just going to wander off. Is that what you're planning to do? Wander off? No. Fire. It might be a good spot for a fire. Absolutely right. I wonder why. Nope, oh, we're all coming for a look. When we've lit the fire, we're going to have a child sacrifice. Oh! Woo! Fire! Fire! We've got fire! We've got fire! Good. Now don't go near the... You see? You've got two near the fire. Don't go near the fire. Let's make some babies. Oh no, not this again. Note that dragging an adult to a child causes the adult to educate the child. There's all sorts of things I want to say about that, but I'm not going to. Oh, right, come on then, hey. you two. Oh, I hate this. This is awful. Yeah, I'd oh, run off and all. Hey. Having played a bit more of the first game, I've discovered you just have to do it over and over again. One of the children remembered something. Oh god, this is getting worse! On the day they disappeared, the adults were hiding pieces of something and then left to find something else. One adult remained behind to watch the children, but what became of that guardian is unclear. This is more disturbing than what's been in the news recently, I have to say. I have to do this, I don't want to do this, but I have to do this. Yeah, run, oh. run, run while you still can. But you just have to, oh. have to do is just keep doing oh. it until like hey. they, it's terrible. Oh. Oh. Hey. Nope, they're absolutely determined. Oh, hang on, the villager is still too young. Am I trying to? No, you're 22. You're so not not oh. go oh. die. Is he too young? 50. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that that would that would explain it. That would. Ex yeah, you you go. On. Sorry. I'm really sorry, mate. I'm so sorry. Um, oh dear. Well, I'm on my own now, aren't I? I've mastered the basics. That didn't help last time. Yeah, I'm really. I am really, really sorry. Um, hey. Oh god, that's terrible. Hey. I hope they don't come and arrest me. Um, yeah, you build that hut, and you two get on with it. And you lot. Well, what do I do with the children? One of my villagers is sick. Oh, did they go and stand in the fire? Look, I haven't got enough people left to be healing. Oh, good grief. There, there aren't enough people to be doing all this. Nature is calling. Really? Not in the firewood. Not in the firewood. Oh, good God. Anywhere but the firewood. There's a whole beach. A whole sea. And you went in the firewood. Right, we've got to... Got a, an extra oh. child though. Good. So she's now useless. Oh. Who's useless anyway? But this man is sick, which is unsurprising given what oh. I just tried to do oh. to him. Heal him. Oh. Heal him. Oh. Heal him. Thank you. Right, are you old enough to start working? Yes, you are. You can go off and build. Because we've had several attempts to build the child slave labour camp and it hasn't worked. Right, are you feeling better now? Healthy. Good. What are you doing? You're researching. You're worried about hey. food. Right, in that case, you can go and get some food in the sea. And you <laughs> can get the mushroom. Get the mushroom. You didn't get the mushroom. Oh, kids. Useless. Right, at least he's doing his job. He's building a hut, but he seems to be getting the bits from uh, from a place that doesn't seem to have any bits. Oh, he's getting getting rocks. He's getting rocks. It's okay. He's getting rocks. Good. 
What are you doing? Nothing. Oh dear. Likes crowds, do you indeed? Do you want to go and do your job instead of sitting there? Oh, we've got a fish, we've got a fish, good. We're not going to starve for at least one more episode. Ah, oh, I said a butterfly. Do I get the kid to collect the butterfly? Yes! I understand this now. I understand. This doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be a success with this lot, but it strikes me that if quite a few of these are children, they're not going to die straight away, are they? At least I hope not, anyway. Um, keep building. Stop shaking your head and keep building. Good. Right, what are you doing? You're building the hut as well. Okay, well, fair enough. Teamwork. And what are you doing? You're just caring for a baby. And, oh no. You're going to be caring for a baby for the next 234 minutes. Dislikes jokes. Oh, you're in the right place here then. Good, okay. Well, a bit of teamwork. We've got a tiny, tiny bit of food. Oh, oh! The huge coconut. Early one morning, Fiji hears a booming thud in the direction of the coconut grove. Investigating the noise, she discovers a coconut of epic proportions. Excited, the villagers try to crack it open, but find that their conventional methods are woefully inadequate. It's a shame to let all that delicious meat and milk go to waste, but how to crack its tough shell? Stamp on it! Soften it in the pond. Hurl it from the diving rock. Hmm, how do you open a coconut? You have to get like a wedge thing, don't you? And sort of prise it open. I suppose we could soften it. If I hurl it, it'll probably just bounce. The villagers roll the giant nut to the pond and push it in. To their dismay, it sinks to the bottom like a rock. Realising that it's far too heavy to raise to the surface, the villagers shrug their shoulders and some laugh as they return in defeat to their usual business. Well, that was a waste of time. Oh, and now you're trying to reach coconuts. Even though we've clearly just had no success at all with coconuts. Thanks for that. Right, how are we doing with this? 46%. Good. Okay. You're still researching and you can be trusted to keep researching, which is good. And you... You're just going to turn into a child-producing machine, I think. And you've got fish. Great! Well, okay, good. I think, potentially, this might be a bit more successful than the last game. Um, that is if I remember to log into it. I'll put a post-it note on my monitor. Come back in the next episode to see just how many of these people are still living! Gameplay Jenny!